lady, Lynn Shalir Kolbe, originally from South Africa, and we're going to ask her a few questions. Right, people, this is Lynn I told you about. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and um, Lynn, where are you from originally? Oh, dear. So I was born in a town called Oatsorn that for a lot of South Africans will we'll know that it is the ostrich town, really. Yes. Um, my parents were not ostrich farmers, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, and we moved around quite a bit. But so for me, the garden route is really more my formative, and, and the little Karoo, my formative years. And, okay. Uh, I went to school after that in George, and this coast, Harold's Bay. Okay, in George? Yes, George. Okay. Yes, so. George High School? Um, Otaniqua High. Otaniqua. High, yes. That's right, yeah. yeah. It's one of the schools that I uh, no, I um, support it. Okay. For art and, and design. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, so for how many years have you been here? Oh dear, um, it seems like forever. <laughs> um, this year it's 32 years. Um, first 10 years in Paris and then we moved to the countryside with my ex-husband. And we've, I've been in Auvergne now for 22 years. That's incredible. Quite some yeah. time. Okay, and what made you decide to come to France I from was, South Africa? Oh, well, it wasn't really a decision to come to France. It was uh, at the time I needed a break in my my life, yeah. and I packed up everything. I had a six months open ticket. Uh, the idea was to go and pack fish in uh, Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well. I did not get to Iceland. Okay. I arrived in London, stayed a while in London, and then uh, on my way to South America, and that didn't work out. Okay. And I said, okay, so where's the next stop? It was Paris. And I started walking in Paris, and I said, but it was like I went into a glove. I, it fitted me like I've lived there before. And I said, okay, this is where I'm going to live. <laughs> and that was That's it. That's the short. <laughs> okay. You don't have enough time for the long. <laughs> But now, Lynn, do you have French citizenship? Yes, yes, okay. I've had it for about 12 years now. Wow. Well, yeah. Is it dual citizenship? Yes. Okay. Yes. I would not have, if I had to give up my South African citizenship, I would not have taken the French citizenship. Okay, right. But we have uh, the agreements I could have. Yes, yes. Especially as a woman. For men, it's sometimes more complicated because yeah. of the wars. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And what do you do in France? Oh dear, um, <laughs> I've done many things. Um, in Paris, I was quite well, well, well known. I started in '95 the French South Africa Friendship Club. Right. So I did a lot of activities with South Africa um, okay. and South African young people, and everybody used to call me, "Oh, we're we coming to Paris. Can you help us?" Etc. And okay. uh, thank heavens, I had a, my ex-husband had a nice big home, so to support all these people that I was crashing around and, and helping. And then when we moved to the countryside in 2000, uh, we, it was a project to have a B&B. &B. Okay. Um, so for 16 years I ran a very big B&B. &B. Um, the fast years about 1,000 people per year, which was quite a lot wow. for five bedrooms. So. Amazing. And that is about 10 kilometers closer to Vichy. Okay. Right here we're about 18 kilometers from Vichy. Yes, yes. So, Okay. okay, so now, sorry, I'll yes, you. Yes, now. So now I do all kinds, of, all kinds of wonderful things. I don't, uh, I've never really worked for other people, so I've always been independent. So sometimes it's a bit more difficult because, you know, you don't have a regular income. Um, after I've renovated my little barn, I actually got some very really nice renovation jobs and I still carry on helping people with their renovation jobs because I've got a, quite a good uh, um, 
knowledge of the area, right. uh, of the people, the, the word people, yes. and that's something really complicated to work with if you're not French and you don't yes. speak the language. Yes. You remember Peter Mayles' books, you know, yes. <laughs> very much. The, and um, so that I've been doing uh, right. for, for some time now. I have my little barn that I rent out uh, on yes. Airbnb. And I will... Um, <laughs> show everybody the little barn. It is beautiful and that's where I'm going to stay for the weekend. So I'll go and show you just now. Well, I think you would like staying there. A lot of people like staying there. So. Yeah, um, and one of the other things I do as well, I do some, I help friends with communication. So right. my one friend has a fantastic business next to Rishi. She works with um, charcoal. She started importing charcoal from Japan for water okay. purification. Etc. And she's actually found a French person that's now doing charcoal for her. Yes. Um, and I've she collaborated with a little um, cookbook, uh, and we actually did the launch here, and I did a, a lot of food for her with charcoal in it. So it was okay. quite interesting. Yeah. So that I also well, this is not a total a nice example, but I do old linen. I, t I dye old linen. Right. And I sell that. So I All do. kinds of linen, or just no, tableware. Mostly tableware. Okay. Not bed linen. Uh, I do have sheets as well, but I do not dye those because it's okay. a bit too complicated. The yeah. table and the, as I do it, you know, hand dye, and it's not so right. easy to do. Okay, I would love to have a look at the I'll bed show linen. You. I'll yeah, show please. You. I'll <laughs> really nice ones. Well, you have one on your bed. Okay, I mean, that's okay. Very nice, intricate one. That I could show right. for you. So. Thank you. Okay, right. shall we go and take a little walk? That would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Are we taking our glasses with us? We could, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yes, in your ways, my... Oh, pardon. I'll have to speak to you in English. I forgot that. Et pas en français. Ah oui. <laughs> it's beautiful yeah. over here. But do you ever miss South Africa? You know, Leon, uh, 32 years is a long time. And, you know, my roots is South Africa. But my yeah, life is here. And you know, uh, one of the things that I miss, and when you look at what we have around us, um, you would find it funny because what I do miss is space. Yeah. Uh, but I talk about the space when you drive through the Karoo and you do not have a thing in sight for miles and miles and miles. Yes. And here in the Auvergne, we have space, we have this beautiful Absolutely. sky, and we have the fields. Um, but the thing that is missing your is, is the space. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I miss the Karoo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, for those not South Africa might not know what the Karoo no. is. Maybe we'll go to South Africa and I'll show them rural South Africa. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and what advice would you give people who want to move oh, to France? Oh, first come and visit. Rent somewhere. Yeah. Don't yeah. go on in haste. Um, sure. It's not an easy country. Um, but you know, wherever you are in the world, it's not uh, who you are. Uh, we know where you are. It's actually who you are. And, and if you're happy with yourself, then you can be happy anyway. Yeah. So we have quite a bit of noise around us today. Okay, it's fine. It's rural France. <laughs> it's <is> rural France. <laughs> because I heard some shooting, and I thought maybe Moscow is close. No, no, <laughs> no. no, no. Actually, this is um, the farmers have just uh, sown the. Uh, sunflowers oh. and um, so what happens the, the birds are very clever they know that it's sunflowers and then they come in and want to eat the seeds oh. so the guys come in and they do boom okay it's sort of cannons that they set off okay. so here you know it's this well, don't you don't hear anything here but on the other side the right. other fields. but you will have to show your uh, wonderful viewers the, the canola I'm going fields to show them. they are so I don't think you have to miss South Africa. <laughs> no, I don't really. You know. Not with us. Look at the background. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's more also, you know, friends. I mean, I still have old school friends.
friends. Sure. And obviously the family, which, you know. And then yeah. my favorite place, I think, in South Africa is Harold's Bay, which is our childhood beach. You know? Oh. And, uh, just little things like that. But I yeah. do get to go back, so. Yeah. This is the little barn and it is fully equipped. This is where I'm going to stay for the weekend and it's beautiful. Oh, chandelier, my fetish. <laughs>
Okay, uh, Lynn, tell us about, do you work through Airbnb? Uh, yes, I do, but I also prefer that people contact me directly, you know, Lynn, okay. and I have, um, uh, with my past guest house, which I ran for 16 years, I do have a, a lot of comeback sure. um, host. Oh. Uh, they, um, they contact me, especially people that I've had a lot of you know, very good right, feelings with, so right. they come back here. And, okay. Yeah, so, but I do have time on Airbnb, otherwise it's uh, the little barn, La Petite Franche. Okay. Uh, website as well. Okay, I'll give the details. Okay, the thank you. Of well, the I, I'm here to do publicity, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a, um, basically f until about oh, September this year, I don't have any space. In, so, really? So, oh, it's a bit that's <laughs> great. So, yeah. yeah. I, cannot, I cannot complain. Yeah. I think the people are after this. Oh, no, you like that one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you about it because actually this was in the kit. And I put it up with friends, I we did with two friends. Yeah. And normally you have uh, crystals for every single little bit there. That's um, it. But I wanted it to be lighter. Right. And that's why I just did a little bit. So it's far more um, um, a Spartan in oh. a way, than a normal chandelier. Right. But if you want crystals, I have a whole bag full of crystals. <laughs> <laughs> But this yeah, is beautiful. Yeah, I love it, yeah. Yeah. it needs a bit of a clean. Sorry. And it's unexpected, art, but cleaning is a is how? Uh, a friend Do you clean of mine. It with the vinegar. And no, water, just no? Uh, soapy water. Soapy water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It works. Okay. I have to clean all mine as well before my visitors arrive. <laughs> <laughs> voilà. So. Okay. Shall we go outside again? So, Leon, my favorite saying is, here's to those who wish as well, and all the rest can go to hell. Great. <laughs> Someday. <laughs>